I have farms all, I've helped start all over the United States and uh, everybody knows who I am. Sometimes as we're traveling, we'll drive past a field and I'll say, I wonder what they have planted there. What you're looking at here is one of the staples of the Southern diet. These are tea bushes. I started my tea farm in 1979. By eight years, I have the oldest commercial tea farm in the United States. Miss Hellman's ain't gonna tell you what's in her mayonnaise, and you'll never see a formula for Coca-Cola, and no one will tell you how to take the green leaves and make tea out of it, it's secretive. And I stole technical secrets from the Chinese. I learned how to make tea by watching the Chinese. Tea making is a secretive process in China, but Donnie Barrett is glad to share the secrets he's learned well, Fred, this is where we, uh, we dry tea. In this beat up pen, and every storm beats it up real bad, I will bring the tea out here and I'll put old bed sheets out here and I'll spread that wet tea on this and then I'll take this rake that I never rake leaves with and I'll rake it around in the sun. Uh, this keeps the uh, wind from blowing on the surface and by that afternoon it's crunchy dry. So Donnie has taken the secrets from China and transplanted them to his Fairhope tea plantation. Not only did no one tell me that I couldn't grow tea, because no one knew. And this produces a lot of tea. It looks like it's small and short, but it just grows up and makes lots and lots of tea. Fairhope tea can be found in a couple of area stores, but your best bet would be to make an appointment, come for a tea tour, and buy your tea at the source. I make about 300 pounds of tea and there's no reason for me to sell any of it wholesale price because I sell every bit of it right here in my driveway. Half my customers are people say, my wife won't drink anything else. If I was younger, I'd probably be planning more tea because I've got, I've got a national reputation going and but I'm old and you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm resting on my laurels now and we are running the tea business, you know, just so we can enjoy it. Donnie describes himself as resting on his laurels and drinking his tea. He also grows a little tea as well. So we describe him as absolutely Alabama. <laughs>